Today we're going to take a look at some scrap mechanic motorcycles. Woohoo! This thing is badass! Hey there guys, Spexy here and welcome back to some Scrap Mechanic Survival. That's right, here I am, as you saw in the intro, I'm going to be showing you some motorbikes today. That's right, motorbikes in Scrap Mechanic Survival. Oh wait a minute, let me sort out this guy. Get out of here! There's no place for you here, get out of it! Now these guys have got a little bit harder since the uh, last update. They now take 7 hits instead of 5 to kill them, which is a little bit mean I think. But hey, we got rid of him. Uh, let's just grab his arm then and lob that in my refiner and let's show you around here this one my farming kit you can see there all my seeds i need to do a lot more farming i haven't got round to it yet uh, lob this in my refiner here i have uh, three refiners and some resource collectors there i've been doing a little bit of collecting the rocks and the stone the metal and the trees but yeah this isn't about that this is about motorbikes as you can see there you saw them in the intro you want to see how to build one i'm pretty certain you do but before we do any of that, you might notice I've got my snazzy golf bag on my back and my shorts. And that's because I've been using the dress bot and the garment boxes which I found. Now I've looted a couple as you can see in my hot bar there. I'm going to put these in the dress bot. I'm going to need some cotton before I do that. What am I doing? Okay, let's grab some cotton real quick from over here. There we go. That's, ah, that's more than enough. I'm going to have to be putting that back in a moment. Let's just lob these in here then and build them. So we'll do the green one first. I think that's the common one. And we'll save the other one for after. Okay, so what are we going to get from this? I am not sure. <laughs> it's going to take a little while before I find out. You might see I'm standing on a vehicle here, which is a piston-powered car. Of course, Khan developed the piston power. Well, not he didn't develop it. I think Al track and other people have also done them. But this is Khan's design of the piston engine. It saves on fuel, so why not? Uh, I think most people are using one now. Or the bearing design, as John Bain showed on one of his videos recently. Again, not a totally original design. It has been used before. Only now with survival, it's actually useful. Whereas before, you could just slap on an engine. It didn't matter. Oh, what did we get there? We got Team Broccoli. That's pretty cool. A new t-shirt. Let's open up this one then and see what we get. Uh, I haven't even got a seat on this thing I've just seen. I probably used it to build something else. I've got all sorts of junk around here, as you can see. The place needs a bit of a tidy up. I do have a few bits of uh, bits and pieces around. I love the way this dress bot keeps on uh, dancing almost as he makes our clothes there. Pretty cool. Come on, mate. I want my clothes. Give me it. What do you got? I want it. Give me it. I really, really want what you've got, mate. Just show me. Come on. Okay. And here it is. What have we got? Oh, we got the bearing shirt. Okay, well, I do like that. I will be slapping that on. Okay, so let's come out of there then. Let's see what we have in here. As I said, I do have the shorts there and the golf bag, which I'm wearing on my back at the moment. I have a set of headphones, which I found, which are pretty awesome. Uh, but I'm not going to wear those now. I don't think they look very good at the moment. Uh, what else have I got? I've got my Team Broccoli shirt. There it is. That's pretty good. I do like broccoli. Kids, eat your broccoli. It's good for you. But I also have my Scrap Mechanic bearing shirt. Now, that is awesome. I do like that, and I like the colours. I have some gloves, which I found. Pretty bulky-looking ones. I have these nice little lightweight ones. The burnt ones, of course. And then Axolot put in the original kit, so we've got the original gloves as well. But I like these little, kind of like biker gloves. I have the shorts, of course, the nice green ones. You can see me beautifully model in here. We also have the burnt ones, which we got at the start of the game. And they've also added in the normal kind of overalls from the original Scrap Mechanic. But I like the burnt ones because they go with the Scrap Mechanic logo, the bearing and all that. So they look pretty cool. We have a few different pairs of boots. We've got the uh, little trainers. We've got the one boot that you've got at the start. We've got these big old bulky ones and then these teeny little red ones. Yeah, they kind of make my feet look tiny. So I think I'm going to wear these big bad boys. Uh, yeah, I'm a biker today, so remember I need to look like a biker. I've got the beard, I've now got the boots and the gloves. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to need a golf bag. That does not go with the look. So I think I'll put on the original uh, scrap mechanic bag, I think. Yeah, I think the original one will do. Okay, so we are done in there. Let's go outside then and check these bikes out. Okay then, so let's get this bike build underway. So everything we need to build this bike is within this crate. That's right, everything you need to build a motorbike in Scrap Mechanic Survival is sitting within this here crate. I know, right? Can't believe it? Well, believe it, because here it is. So we have some blocks here. We have a couple of level four, I believe they are, controllers. We have a level one seat, a level one suspension. 
We have a level five motor there, electric motor. We have two level one sensors, a couple of wheels there. We have 13 bearings, eight pipe pieces, and the rest of this is optional, but we'll get to that at the end. So let's go back in our inventory and drag some of these down to our hotbar. So we want the first things in the order I've placed them in here. Grab these quickly down to here, and let's see how we get on. So. First of all, then get the lift, place it. You're going to want to put two blocks on it, and these are only so that you can place the controllers on the side here and here. So there you go, that's the first three parts, let's say, done, or two parts, four parts, let's see, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Can't count. Okay, so now that those are on, let's get the seat there, or the saddle, and drag it back so it's flush, as you see, with the front there. Pretty cool. Right, so now you can delete these two blocks here. And now you want to grab yourself a bearing. And let's put that there. And put it on the underside just there. Raise this up a little bit and make it slightly easier. Put a block on that. And then put your suspension on the back. Now for those of you that know how suspension glitch steering works, you'll see what I'm doing here. So connect this up to here and switch that around. And you're going to want to put a block on the back. But before you do that, let's place the motor by putting it just here and dragging it across. Now you'll see it goes straight through the suspension because there is no hitbox on the suspension there. So all you need to do now is put a block on the end there. And when you drop this off the lift, you'll see if I get on the seat that I am now able to turn this thing around. But of course, it's not a motorbike yet. It's far from it. Okay, so let's put it back on the lift and let's get the next bit going. So go back into the inventory, grab the sensors here uh, and all the rest of the bearings. In fact, we might as well grab as much of this as we can. Uh, here we go. And right, let's go. So we need to place on here two bearings, one just here and one on the other side just there. On top of these, we want to put these sensors facing outwards. Uh, let's just get this right there and the other one just there okay connect both of these up to the controllers that we put on the front on the ones to the same side you might as well it just makes it easier and then make sure that they're rotating outwards so that these will point down once you've set the rotation set the rotation on each of these to 30 uh, let's see there and there and you'll see when i drop this off a lift that they will then rotate 30 degrees outwards and point at the floor which is what we want them to do Okay, let's pick this back up again then real quick and move along. So, the next part of this build requires us to build the actual forks, let's say, of the bike. So out, one, down, two, there. So you only use six pieces on the front. Out two this time. And down two, there we go, like that. And then out again like that. And it's quicker to do it that way, there we go. Okay, so now you wanna place a bearing on here and a bearing on here inside the forks there to place the wheels. Now the back one's probably going to need us to take it off the lift so let's take it off the lift and pick it back up again. Now we should be able to place it so let's get that last tire there and place that on. There it is. So the wheels are now on. Might as well connect them up to the engine. Let's go. There it is. So we now have our wheels connected. We need some power for that. Let's grab the battery just here and put that in there. Probably want to set it about four from the top for now. We can tinker with that later. Okay, so that is on. Uh, yeah, might want to connect that up to the uh, driver's seat there, spec seat. There we go. And okay, not going to go anywhere now. Uh, if it did, we'd find out that uh, these are not going in the right direction, surely. Uh, no, that one isn't. If I get on this now, you'll find it does go. It does a bit of a wheelie, but it will fall over because there's nothing stopping it doing so. Now, in order to get this to actually stabilize slightly, I'm going to use a glitch that was around for quite a while. It's the Ra uh, glitch, so it's a, a Ra unit. Now, Ra Ra Gaming, a long time ago, made this. It used to completely stabilize the uh, creations, and then it stopped working to the full extent that it used to. However, it still works. It just isn't as strong, but it's perfect for this build. As normal suspension glitch for stabilization doesn't seem to be working as well as it used to in survival. But this does work, and this is why I'm using it. So let's place four bearings just here, and four bearings just here. Pipe pieces onto these, like so. And again at the back, let's get these on. There we go. And each of these wants to be welded to the other. So get this on a lift, 
and then weld these together like this. There we go. And then get your connection tool out. You want to connect all of the bearings from one side up to that side. Like that, starting with the front and then at the back. So you've got two and three at the front, four, four and five at the back, and the same on this front side. Two and three are the front ones, four and five are the back ones. And then each of these wants rotating, so it's pointing away from the bike. So clockwise on this side, anti-clockwise on this side, and on the front, the same. It wants to be anti-clockwise, I mean clockwise on this side, and anti-clockwise on this side. There you go. Okay, so now, controllers, we need to set the rotations. So for two and three, we want these to be fixed rotations as the creation comes off the lift at 180 degrees. For four and five, we want these to activate when the sensor sees the floor, and these need to go at 300. So let's put these at 300. You then want to set it to loop and put the limit up to full. And on the other side, do the same. So 180 and 180 for these ones. And then for these ones, 300, 300, loop and full speed. Okay, now we need to connect the sensor up to each of the controllers there. And when the sensor sees the floor, it should make that pull the rag unit and make it stand up. As you see, these things will actually rotate around. Uh, at the moment, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Ah, I haven't set my sensor range. So a four, that's gonna tip it over this way, and then set the sensor range to four on this side, which will try to tip it back. And as you can now see, it's trying to stabilize itself. Uh, it looks a little glitchy, but it does work. Now you can tinker with this and make it any way you want. You can make it bigger, you can make it not touch this and everything else. However, this is as small as I could make it and I think it's pretty cool. So in order to build this in survival, you'd want to use as little parts as possible. And this definitely does use few parts. As you saw, it all fits in a chest. Now this thing drives pretty well and it will stabilize itself as you can see. Now we could probably turn the engine up a little bit, but it's working quite well at that speed at the moment. It doesn't fall over, it does slide little wheelies, but it ain't bad, it definitely does work. It took me a while to get to this point to actually figure this out, but I've done it, and here it is. So, let's just see then if we can add a few little optional extras to this thing uh, before we go out on the road. So, let's put it back over here, let's have a look in that crate, and what did we have? We had a button, oh, let's put it straight down into our hopper, let's get rid of the battery for a second. We have a switch, a horn, two lights, a passenger seat, and a duck. Not sure where we're putting the duck, but let's have a look. So we want two lights. Let's see if we can put these on to the side here. About there maybe, maybe there a little bit further back. And the same place on the other side. Let's just turn that around and slap that on. There we go. And then we wanted a passenger seat. So yeah, let's grab that and slap that on the back. Drag it across. There we go. We can now take a friend for a ride if we want to. Uh, what else did we have? We have a horn and a duck. Let's slap the horn on the side of the motor, maybe this is there. And then we can slap a button on the side there for the horn and a switch on this side over here for the lights. So let's attach the switch to the lights and then to the seat there. And on the other side, let's attach the button to the seat. And then we want to attach the button to the horn. Oh, missed it. Hold on, let's try that again. The button to the horn. There we go. And that should now work. Let's take it off the lift. And we should now have a working horn, as you can hear there, and working lights on the two switch. So that's all pretty cool. Let's turn the range of the lights up a bit, otherwise they're practically useless at night time. Let's put them up to 20. That's better. And let's jump on. We should now have a fully working motorbike in Scrap Mechanic Survival. This is awesome. So what else could you possibly need to go out adventuring in the Scrap Mechanic Survival world on your new motorbike? Well, a little bit of extra inventory space wouldn't go amiss, and that's just as well because if we grab this bad boy, we can slap it right on the front there, just slide it across and put it there. Um, probably want to turn that around and get the light and the catch on the front. There you go, that looks a lot nicer. And then we've got lots of room to put all our loot. We've got a space on the back for a friend. We can go out exploring, go out looting, and everything is fine and dandy. Let's take this thing out for a ride then. It's not as fast as it used to be. However, there is a little bit of extra weight on it now. So I might be able to get it to go up another notch. If I jump off and then maybe crank the engine up a little bit, might get a little bit more speed out of this. Let's have a look. Okay, we'll set it one notch higher. So we should be good to go, it should be a little bit faster now, the extra weight should hold my wheel down. It is popping a wheelie a little bit there, but it is coming back under control. Whoa, nearly hit you mate. 
And yeah, it works quite well. Like I say, you've got all the room you want to grab all your loot. Everything works as expected. So I'm just going to take this thing for a spin now and see how it handles. Okay, so we're coming up on a warehouse now. Might as well go and loot this place while we're out here. Got plenty of room with us now. So let's park the bike up here. Uh, let's just grab this crate really quickly. Let's just smash that. Oh, where's my hammer? Uh, it's in my backpack. There it is. Let's put the hammer back. There we go. And smash that. And we're going to sell some tomato seeds and component kits. Well, let's grab the beeswax as well. There we go. And I might as well grab this corn now while I'm at it. Uh, something to feed the wax back at home. Well, that's a sore point. We had wax back at home, but those bloody nuisance farm bots or hay bots broke them out and set them free, and I don't know where they are now. I think they killed them, so I'm going to have to get myself some more because that's all my milk gone now. Oh, there's a wok. Can't get him home on this though. <laughs> that might just be a little bit too much for it. Uh, okay, so let's go and loot this place. Let's park ourselves up here. Uh, take out this guy. Like I say, these are a little bit tougher than they used to be now, taking seven hits. So this isn't going to be as easy as it was before. Come on, let's smack him. Got him. There we go. And then let's get the rest of this place looted. with all the lovely loot in our bag here so we can drop all this into the crate on the front of the bike there oh we've got the duck still that's pretty cool uh where was i going to put that now i don't think i can actually weld it anywhere on the crate itself i don't think it's going to let me let's just check that out i don't think it's going to let me place it there no um let me see then where can i put this thing uh, i know i'll put it in the opposite direction to where the horn was on this side of the bike and we'll slap it just there. That'll do. There you go, Ducky. You have a home. So, yeah, as I was saying, we've got all our lovely loot in the bag now. It's just an example of what you can do. There's lots more room should you want to loot more places. But I just want to get all this lovely loot back to my base. And I'm glad I showed you guys what this thing can do. Let's just turn on the lights because nighttime is upon us and we don't want to run into anything nasty on the way. And I'll see you when I get back there. And morning is here. We're heading back to the base. We've been out looting. Everything went to plan. I'm popping a wheelie there. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's get back to base then and uh, drop this stuff off. And I'm not going to show you a couple of other bike builds, which I made as well. Just to show you what you can do if you want to tinker with it. Okay, so here we are. Back at base. Let's just hop off the bike. Loot intact. There you go. And then I'll show you these two. So this one is the first one that I built. I hadn't quite figured out. The suspension going through the motor and everything else so it's kind of down there it's a little bit of a bad boy it's a big thing but it does work it's got the chest on the front as well the same as the other one yeah and it all works pretty much the same way these are the rails on the back here doing the job for this one but yeah it does the same job and you can see another couple of rails here uh, so yeah that one works and then there's this one now this i am calling the bumble wasp uh, mainly because it's the color of bumblebee but bumblebee's already taken so this is bumble wasp a badass looking chopper in a striking black and yellow design and a bit of a sting in his tail to be fair yeah he's a bit nippy let's take this thing for a spin and you will see that this one looks a lot better than the others did now this shows you what you can do if you take a little time and actually tweak these things oh sorry mate uh yeah but this came up pretty well i think you'll agree and i hope you liked my bike builds I took a lot of time building these and that's probably why you've not seen me with a video on the channel. I need to get back to the farming and the building a base and everything else, but at the moment I've been engrossed in making these bad boys and I really do hope that you like them. 
If you did like this video, as always, why not spank the hell out of that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe for more great content. Don't forget that you can support me on Patreon if you wish to do so. And I will see you in the next one. See you soon. Bye for now.